students my name is sumit mehta so in today's lecture we will discuss about the sexual reproduction in flowering plants okay so here in the first uh, picture i have shown you the longitudinal section of flower so the reproductive parts of angiosperms are located in the flower okay so as we have already discussed about the different parts of a flower like sepal petal stamens okay so these both are called as stamens and we have discussed in our class 9th lecture okay so what possible function could the petals and sepal serve now we will see that okay the flower may be it may be unisexual okay like example are papaya watermelon when it contains either stamens or carpels or bisexual when it contains both so either they have stamens or you can say carpel so one should be there if they have both the carpel and stamens so they are bisexual okay like mustard hibiscus okay so these type of uh, flowering flowers are called bisexual when it contains both stamens and carpels stamen is the male reproductive part so stamen is the male reproductive part and carpel is the female reproductive part and it produces pollen grains that are yellowish in color so these pollen grains that stamen produce here okay so these are called as male reproductive part and they are yellowish in color as it is shown to you here okay so these are yellowish in color so you must have seen this yellowish powder that often sticks to your hand if you touch the stamen of a flower okay so carpel is present in the center of the flower and is the female reproductive part okay so the carpel is here in between the center of the flower so and it is the female reproductive part it is made up of three parts the swollen bottom part is the ovary that it is the ovary middle elongated part is the style and it is the style and here is one stigma also so these all contains form to a carpel okay so these are basically the male and the female reproductive parts okay so it is also shown here the female germ cell ovary the pollen tube the male germ cell and the stigma and the pollen grains okay so after the fertilization the zygote divides several times to form an embryo within the ovule this is the ovary and here is ovule the ovule develops a tough coat and it is gradually converted into a new seed okay so the new seed is developed here the ovary grows rapidly and ripens to form a fruit so the ovary grows rapidly to form a new fruit okay meanwhile the petals sepals stamens style and stigma may shrivel and fall off so this is how the and this is also known as the germination the process of sexual reproduction in flowers okay so now i hope students that you are you are pretty clear that the male reproductive parts are stamens and the carpel is the female reproductive part and how these male and female reproductive part comes into contact and the ovary grows rapidly then and it gives like a new fruit and this production of the new fruit cold as germination 
so i hope students now you are pretty clear about what germination is and in the next lecture we will discuss about the reproduction in human beings the male reproduction system and the female reproduction system okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on male and the female reproduction system thank you students happy learning